Hey everybody, welcome back. We're over at the brake lathe today. That's for drum brakes and that's for rotors. And there's all my adapters up there. And today we're going to do some drums. I've got my correct size um, hub on there. And I have Chuck's drums here. Now these have already been turned already. Uh, I already turned two of them and they just came in uh, with spec. Uh, they aren't in the greatest shape so they got deep scores in them. Um, but we're going to go after those and see how they clean up. And we're gonna, or I'll show you how we measure everything once they're done. Um, but this is an often overlooked thing. Uh, a lot of people complain about brake troubles and you get in there and you see they've got an out of round drum or um, big scores in them uneven surfaces rust um, so this is something that you should do um, you know when you do your brakes I always do it when I'm rebuilding axles so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that one set up on the brake lathe and I'll show you how that goes okay we're gonna take a drum get it started here Take the correct size uh, shoe right there. Get a spacer. Got our little rubber squeezy shock absorber there. And left threaded nut. And we'll just tighten that right down. Then our anti-vibration and chatter belt goes on there. Just kind of roll that right around there. Ugh. Sometimes that can be a bear. you got to really stretch it. Right on, okay. We're gonna get our drum moved in. We'll make sure you can see that all right. We're gonna walk that drum in there. And we're just gonna touch off and make a light pass. at the beginning and we quickly stop cutting. I like to let the first one go all the way. Uh, sometimes they're hollow in the center and then when that comes to the end it'll start cutting again. Uh, but we'll just keep taking light passes until we get this guy trued up. Hey okay, guys, this is our first 10,000s cut. And you can hear it's not even, we're not getting a full cut all the way around there. And that's the trouble with all these drums, they're way out of round. I think you can see the cut we're making there. But uh, we're just going to take light cuts so we don't get any chatter or anything. It might take three or four, but we'll just keep chipping away at it. And then we'll uh, give it a measure and make sure we're within tolerance. Okay, guys, I'm zoomed way in on that drum, and I'm going to turn it for you. You can see we got nice machine work there, and then you can see that bad spot coming up. Now that is pretty big section there, and we're back into machined areas. So if you were driving and we're making an emergency stop or just a regular stop those brakes of the pedal the whole front end that'd be thumping along uh, you'd feel that spot in there and um, a lot of people are like oh the old Willie's brakes they're no good um, 
you know, they were perfectly fine when they were, you know, when people cared for them. And you can go basically to any auto parts store and get your drums turned. But that's becoming a thing of the past now. I know a lot of the stores around here, the Napa's and places like that, that used to have these machines in the back, they don't have them anymore. So you got to really, you got to search them out and find them. Uh, don't not turn your drums. Because as you can see, halfway through this one, we still got a real bad spot in there. That'll feel terrible when you put your brakes on on the road. Okay, this is the last pass. And you can hear we're getting a good cut all the way around. I have turned my feed down. Um, not to the slowest, but uh, I got a number six. It goes number two to 20, and that depends how fast. Uh, that feeds. So this is a nice slow feed. We're going get, to get a good finish on that. And then uh, I'll finish up the drums. We'll go over to the bench. We'll measure them up and we'll talk about um, oversized drums and, and uh, tolerances and stuff like that. Okay guys, while I was turning Chuck's drums, I figured I would do Brian's as well. And his are in pretty tough shape as well. You can hear we're not getting a good cut on there. So we're just ripping through with a roughing cut, and we'll take a look at it, and then we'll see where we're going to go and how much we're going to take on the next one. We're only getting about half the drum on this first cut, so hopefully it'll stay within tolerance by the time we're done. Okay guys, I got four drums for Brian's M38 axles, and I got four for Chuck's CJ5 axles. Uh, I have two good ones for Brian, and I'm going to show you. This is a drum micrometer, and it, it's got markings along here, and you set it for whatever size drum. Uh, we're working with a 9-inch drum, so we're going to put it in there and kind of wiggle it around until we get our biggest dimension. And we're 9-inch, 74 um, I know it's hard to see, but maybe you could just get a look at the, the glare is tough on that. But, um, this will, this has a button in the back and it will, it will read. Uh, lighting is terrible for that. So this drum is good. That's, that's basically what I want to tell you. This other one, this one's real good. This is 9 inch 55. Usually on a drum there's going to be a marking how big oversize you can go. On the early drums there's not. Uh, you don't want to go, on, on these real thick heavy drums, you don't want to go much over say 120. Um, most of them are marked 80. Uh, rotors are marked the same thing. Some rotors they only want you to go 40, some of them 60. It just depends. You got to look at your your specs on that. Now this one here is already 9 inch 90 thousandths. Um, I'm not real happy with that one, but we can use it if we had to. This one, I don't know if you can see, it's machined from here to here. This other half is not machined at all. And this is really wobbling on the, uh, on the brake lathe. And we're already past 80. We're already 980. This drum is no good. I do like to change them in pairs. So I'm going to get two new drums for Brian and put those in the front and put the good turned ones in the back. Um, they, they were a little bit kind of messed up, but we were able to save two. Chuck, um, let's see where he's at. 9 inch 045. Nine-inch 070. I like the two of those. O seventy nine. That's still right within spec. Seventy nine again. So we're within spec. We can save all the chucks. We're gonna get two new ones for Brian, 
and when we go you know back in the day when you had your drums turned you probably had your shoes relined and they fit the shoe to the drum you don't see that a lot anymore but I'm gonna show you how we fit the shoes to the drum uh, and, and it changes when you when you machine your drum you sometimes gotta grind your shoe to fit and I'll show you that in a, in a future video um, but for now uh, we've got all eight machined two like I said are bad I'll get those on order I'll put Brian's uh, brakes together I'll put Chuck's brakes together and we'll, we'll talk more about that as it happens but I uh, just want to show you guys one important step when you're putting your axle together when you're doing a brake job make sure you true up your drum because they never stay accurate so um, that's all I have for you today um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next video